The day has come where it's finally time to render out our scene. So first, we need to set up a camera and some lights. Add a camera and press Alt-R, and then Alt-G to reset its location and rotation. Press R, then X, then type 90 on the number pad to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, then press enter to confirm. Press 0 on the numpad to enter camera view, then press G, then Y to move the camera on the y-axis. Press G, then C to move it up above the floor. Finally, press R, then X to rotate on the x-axis, then rotate the camera up a bit. In the Render Settings tab, change the Render Engine to Cycles, and set the device to GPU. Set the Viewport Samples to 32. In the Output Properties tab, enable Render Region to only render the camera view in the viewport, then switch to Render View. It looks pretty nice, but let's add some more lights. Switch to Material Preview, and enable Scene Lights and Scene World. Add a point light and position it behind the Christmas tree. Then set the power to 150. And change the color to a light green. Duplicate the light and position it close to the front of the Christmas tree. Then change the color to a light blue. Finally, duplicate the light and position it to the side of the scene. Then change the power to 30. Duplicate that light and position it on the opposite side of the scene. At this point, I think the light from the star, text and Christmas lights are too bright. So in the shading workspace, Reduce the emission strength of those materials. In the Render Settings tab, reduce the render samples to 200. Then, if you are satisfied with the scene, press F12 to render. Once the render is done, Head over to the Compositing workspace. Enable Use Nodes. Add a Viewer node to preview changes. The only thing we will add in here is a Glare node. Then change from Streaks to Foggy Glow. Make sure you're connected to the Composite node as well. Before I do a final render, I will go into the node group of the Christmas tree layers and increase the subdivision surface level to 4. I will also increase the subdivision surface level to 3 in the GIFT node group. Once I'm satisfied, I will increase the render samples to 500 and do a final render. And here is the result of that. I hope you had fun following along in this series, and hopefully you learned a thing or two in the process. So with that, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers!